Hello everybody and welcome to a very much overdue unboxing with Curtis, who hasn't been here in God knows how long, but I just figured it'd be a, a fun video to do for everybody. I just picked up a new PlayStation Slim uh, Infinite Warfare Edition, as you can see, because uh, my old one was starting to give me some hassles. So I wanted to get a new one and I figured it'd be fun to do an unboxing for everybody, because I did a poll on Twitter. You guys wanted to see us bring back a tech video, so why not? So without further ado, get some dash and shit. Let's do this shit! <laughs> uh, I, so I finally, I recently caved, and I finally, Sub to Dashy, and I've been watching his videos. I literally cannot stop saying my voice, my voice, my voice. That's like it's all I've been doing. Is I, I, uh, I should probably do it this way. Just can't like can't get it out of my head. It's terrible. He's infected my brain. It's like he's it's he's so goddamn funny. When I ah oh, rip the box. What's in the box? Rip. All right. Oh god. And now I push the tablecloth. This is why you just need one painted black table. I had to clean this thing earlier because somebody got dirt all over the fucking thing. All right, so you can see it's a nice clean PS4 logo on there. Oh, and the tab is on the, that didn't sound good. That makes me happy. Sony, package your shit better. So, while Danny's having his fun times, um, I just that see what the specifications of the PS4 Slim. So, it's, uh, it's got a single chip custom processor. Everything just falls out of the box. That's great. All right, so while he's reading that, single chip custom processor. Um, it's uh, got a x86 64 AMD Jaguar CPU with eight cores. Really? This is the I forgot about this. This is the it, his most piss poor excuse for a microphone I've ever seen. Let's make you buy now a $250 system with a fucking like $6. Get it out of a cereal box microphone. You'd probably get a better one out of a cereal box. I was, I wouldn't doubt it. And we got the, the new uh, DualShock 4 controllers, which is nice. Ooh, that's really clean. What's different about this one, Danny? Um, the light bar is no longer just back here. The light bar also shine, shows up here. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, I don't know if it's charged. Uh, probably got this it. motherfucker ain't charged! Damn it, it's probably sitting for a while, but whatever. So, so we'll leave that here for everybody to see too. It's very clean, I like the matte feeling on it. So it's got a uh, 1.84 teraflops uh, GPU capable, uh, AMD Radeon based graphics engine, and eight gigabytes of GDDR5 uh, RAM. RAM. GDDR5 memory. I, it, does, it didn't say RAM, so I was like, oh, is it Just RAM? Re it's memory, yeah, if it's, it's GDDR5. Oh, yeah. So, um, that's this, good. This one comes with uh, 500 gigabytes of storage size, so just Perfect. in case you really need to install all the Call of Duty games. Yeah. Um, uh, we won't bore you with the dimensions because rulers are sad and, um, <laughs> and no one gives a fuck. It's uh, got USB 3.1. Um, it does. Two USB 3.1. That's my, And an auxiliary port. Why do I feel like I am opening this the wrong fucking way? Well, sometimes, Danny. There we go. Oh, it did come with a physical copy. Hot damn! Unless it just gave me like an empty box with no disc. Okay, so we got, let's see here. We got the best place to play. And right there, oh boy. <laughs> fucking yell at that microphone. What is this? This is a pamphlet. How to set up your place to, oh, fucking. An so, actual physical copy of Infinite Warfare, even though it says digital on there. So, uh, oh no, oh, no this yeah, is for like, the Modern Warfare yeah. remaster. Oh fuck, I had Modern Warfare 1 now! And if you guys hear any noise in the background, excuse all of that. My dad is working downstairs in our garage doing some whacking. That's okay. really tiny. Oh yeah. My God. Wow. I'll put some music underneath it. I'll put some music in the background so you can not hear it as much. It's not as thick as my hand. So. Oh God, uh, I don't want to dirty it up. All okay. the fucking fingerprints. Oh, um, it's a matte finish. But you get your standard Ethernet, um, 802.11 ABGN and AC. Very thin, very wow. light. That is crazy thin. Oh, they removed the optical spot though. Maybe that's why there's the auxiliary. Uh, hold on. Warranty void is seal removed. Yeah, that's not it. That's <laughs> those fuckers. Yep. And then uh, so you got the matte with the gloss logo on there. Well, bam, matte and gloss. Matt and Gloss, I hope that's focusing because I can't see shit right now. And then on the front, you have obviously your two USB drives. I don't like, they're not drives, USB slots. 
I don't like that they say they're 3.1, but they're still black. They need to be blue to conform so people actually know that. It's important because if you're trying to set a precedence and standard in the tech industry and everybody else is doing, even some manufacturers are now doing red for 3.1 so they know know that it's usually 3.1. If they're red though, they're, they're always active, which depends on the manufacturer. Like um, I think Biostar for their motherboards, they're usually doing it, which is AMD or whatever. Um, but yeah, three blue, important, very important. And then you just got two physical buttons here, clicky, no longer that like, oops, my finger brushed over it, guess my disc is coming out again for the sixth time. Nonsense. And then on the back we have, uh, it's just. They probably did the black thing, well, I totally agree with you. I think they did the black thing because of the color. Yeah. Because probably. it's only available in black, and right? That's the back. Yes, it's only yeah. available in black. Um, and, uh, for those that. wondering, um, it is, of course, as he said, okay. HDMI, but it is also HDR output capable. Hence the boom. That's goodness. very tiny. Yeah. Now it's only going to take me six days to download everything again. Great. The one thing I will say that is convenient about this is they changed the way that the hard drive comes out. It just pops right out the back now, rather than like, oh, I got to fucking take the top slate off, then I got to unscrew everything, then I got to take it out, and hopefully it's the same firmware, otherwise it's not going to fucking boot, and I got to go back and re-update all the hard drive again. You're going to be Salt. okay, Danny. You're going to be okay. It's okay. We have the new We're console. Good. You're going to be fine. You're going to have no more issues. Here's a console. And they changed the color of the, uh, the buttons. The buttons are gray. Yeah, they're matte buttons now, yep. Oh, all right, yay. Yay, no squishy analog sticks. You can feel those now, so they don't have that like Aah. Anybody that's played PS4, if your rubber hasn't come off your analog stick, you're lucky. But you also know that sometimes your uh, triggers, when you go all the way down, you can feel that like creaking of it. It's just like Aah. like a door opening, but controller, system, and game. I don't know if we'll be able to get this to stand up. Boom. And the best place to play. And <laughs> the best place to play. There it is. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, tech videos will be coming back. I'll probably do a review next of my Logitech G933 wireless headset. It's a universal 7.1 surround headset. Uh, if you have any questions about the system, leave a comment down below. Again, thank you so much, and we will see you in the next video. See you later, guys.